Tension at Honolulu Hale today. City department leaders accused the council of proposing drastic and damaging budget cuts, but the council chair vigorously defended the proposals as a way to provide tax relief for homeowners. Daryl Huff has both sides. I don't feel like taking drastic measures during the budget process is the right way to do it. Council Chair Tommy Waters provoked the argument by pointing out that prior budgets included money for jobs that were never filled. And that money, he said, should be used on new initiatives and that might prevent property tax increases. Maybe that's drastic, but that's, I think, what people are asking us to do. Rumors about the budget cuts brought some city workers to show face for the debate. Folks that are actually in city positions right now don't need to be, you know, worried that they're going to be losing their job. These comments and you parading people in saying they're not going to have a job, that's not fair to us, that's not fair to them, and it's certainly not fair to people watching on the news. I have never in my years here seen a magnitude of proposed cuts at this stage. Okay, it's, it's, it's pretty drastic. We're going back to last year's budget, yes or no? It looks like. Plus 5%. It does look like. Right? That. Yeah. Okay, so you're saying now you've never seen such drastic cuts before is not the truth. Um, because I, we're going back to last year's budget. I mean, let's not play games here. So in this let's comment, not play games here. In this comment, if I'm you want to work with us, we'll work I with you. I want to work with you. Let's figure out what you need even after that dressing down, the city information officer pointed out that one $5 million reduction in computer services could have devastating effects. We won't have driver license in the state of Hawaii. We won't have motor vehicle registration, bicycle, motorcycles, mopeds, now electric scooters. Real ID will go away. Daryl Huff, Hawaii News Now.